Okay, next we have underlined at the top of the board the Roman vowels. Now, as you can see, there's A, E, I, O, and U. Remember I said that letter at the end there, that can be U or V, the V sound or the U sound. So it's A, E, I, O, and U. There is no Y. Now, how do you get the sounds you need in the Latin language? Well, if I wanted to have the I sound, I'd have to go like this. I, I, because this is always a, never a, and never a. This is always a, and this is always a. So to get the I sound, like I am a wonderful teacher, I am a wonderful teacher, you see? Now this letter right here, underneath the yellow pencil, that's not, uh, that's not I, that's pronounced E. Oh my gosh. So this is an E, this is E, and this is an E either. This is E, and this is A. A, E, E. Now I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, that's got to be O, but it's not. It's O. And this is O, not A. Uh. There's no A uh, and there's no E. Eh. So we have O, if you want to make the O sound. But in, if you want to make the, the O sound, we have O. O, O. And if I wanted to say, uh, yo, Adrian, I'd say, yo, yo, Adrian. That's how you get the Y sound. That's why you don't need a Y in Latin. You don't need a K because that's how you make the hard K sound, right? So that's K. All right. I'll give you a couple clues. Can you decode this message?